Hello, my name is Matt Heinzelman, and I am one of the curators at the Hill Museum and Manuscript Library. And today I'm going to be showing you three books from our collection that are unlike other printed books in our collection in that these were printed in complete pages and not printed as um, from letterpress or from individual letters, movable type. These books come from three different centuries. This one is a 17th century book from 1680s. This one is from the early 18th century, and this one is actually a 20th century book, printed about 100 years ago. The three books that you have are all prayer books of some kind or another. Uh, so these are all meant to be private or personal items that someone would use for their own prayers. The first of these books from the 1680s was done by a man named Louis Sano, who was a a uh, writing master who would teach people how to write with a pen or quill, and that this was a way that he could demonstrate some of his writing techniques. So it's a very beautiful book. It's very detailed, very elaborate, but the entire thing is printed. It's made to look like handwriting, but it is not handwriting. It's actually all printed from plates. And each of these decorations, all of these special things were all done by hand onto the metal plate, so that they could then be used uh, uh, page after page like this. Each page is a completely separate unit. And it's divided into prayers for the different times of the day. Here you have prayers for, uh, for communion. You may have prayers for Compline or Vespers, different times of the day uh, that someone might be praying. The second book is... Uh, similar in nature, this one actually is in English. So the three books that we have, one is French, one is English, one is German. This one was printed in London in 1721, I believe. Here you have the date, MDCCXXI, so that's 1721. And this was done to go with a communion service So the, for the Church of England. And uh, what you have here is an unusual situation in that not only is the, the, are these printed from plates, just like the first one, but this one is especially unusual because it's printed actually from two plates. Because what you see when you look around the edge is a plate mark that goes around the edge of the decoration and the border, but then inside you'll see a second plate mark around the text itself. And so sometimes if you look, like here, you can see that the page is actually the, the text and the border overlap. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes they get it right, and sometimes they go too close and start to go into the next um, part of the, of the page. Here you can see especially how the um, plate marks go right over some of the decoration. But this was another way of printing a book that would look more like a manuscript, perhaps, but it would look more like a personal book, something that you would want uh, to have for yourself, not something that would look big and, and special for a larger community. Uh, all of the engravings were added as well, all of the pictures. So this is, this is a, a way to make a, a sort of modern version of what we use, think of as prayer books or books of hours from the late Middle Ages. The final book here, which is actually one of my favorites, is in German. And I say that not only because I studied German, but because this one is actually, I think, one of the more interesting experiments. This is a, a book designed by a man named Rudolf Koch, who was a, a German artist from in the early part of the 20th century. And he designed uh, typeface. He did lots of different kinds of things related to book arts. And what he did here was that he actually uh, took the text that we call the Vision of Isaiah, uh, from the Old Testament, and the vision of the Isaiah is where we get uh, in the Catholic Mass today the holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts. And he took that and placed it into a, a uh, set of pages where nothing is actually picture, but the text itself is a very expressionistic uh, design that uh, allows the text to become very, not only difficult to read, but very expressive of the message. 
Uh, this kind of book, this is based on the translation by Martin Luther, and he attributes that in the back, Martin Luther, and the date that was published, 1919. And that there are only 58 copies, well, we don't know how many copies were made. Our copy is number 58. And there may be, uh, from a recent check that I made, there may be only a couple of these in North America. So it's not very widely held. But you see, page after page, the text is this very almost wild looking, uh, very expressionistic style. Uh, but in one point, you'll see uh, towards the end that you see the, the word holy, highly. And it's uh, here is where you have holy is God, the Lord of hosts. Holy is God, the Lord of hosts. Holy is God, the Lord of hosts. So he's repeating that. But he's made it so heavy, the letter is so inked so heavy, that the pages themselves are actually only printed on one side so that the ink doesn't show through from the other side. That's something that was very unusual for a book uh, in the 20th century to be made in that style. Very impractical, but also very beautiful for a book that's not made in too many copies. So those are three examples of books that were printed without using movable type. Thank you.